What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. The past few videos you guys have seen us do some crazy adventure activities. Jumping off cliffs, swimming with whale sharks, going on hikes. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit more relaxing. Actually a few things. We're going to be doing a river cruise on the Labak River. We're going to visit some natural springs and we're going to go see Mirror of the World which has a lot of cool things and we can't wait to show you guys. Let's go. We just paid for our tickets and we are at a company called Long River Cruise. It's in Labak Bahal and we're going to be touring the Labak River. Each of our tickets cost us 850 pesos. That includes your all-you-can-eat buffet on the cruise as well as the cruise that tours you around. And we were asking how often these cruises leave and they couldn't give us a specific time. It's just whenever people buy the ticket and the cruise fills up, it leaves. So it could fill up in 10 minutes, half hour, an hour, it doesn't matter. But they do run from specific times, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can come here anytime you want. And a lot of people are here. So we think it might be really good. food was delicious on the boat there's live music the entire time that you're cruising and the jungles all surrounding the river are so beautiful this has to be one of the most beautiful river cruises we've been on if you guys have been watching us for a while you know that we have not really had a lot of luck with the different river cruises we did one in egypt and the buffet was kind of a disaster with everybody rushing to it and then we did another river cruise in Cambodia where we didn't get our drinks before getting on the boat because nobody told us we had to do that. So we rode the boat and it was just not as fun as it would have been. And I have to say this has been the best experience so far. On this cruise you see a lot of very, very beautiful scenery. On either side you see mountains, you see big jungles. And right now as you can tell we are pulling up to some very nice waterfalls right here. And everything just looks so beautiful over here. It's incredible. And just like that, the cruise is over. We had an absolutely incredible time. It was very relaxing and the scenery was beyond incredible. I cannot even put it into words. I think we would both highly recommend this activity if you guys are coming here. But like I said, it has just come to an end and we're getting off right now. Now that we're done the cruise, we wanted to let you guys know there's actually a couple different prices that you can pay. There's different cruise companies and they all range as low as 500 pesos all the way up to 850 pesos, maybe even more. It just depends on where you book with, the different type of foods that are available and the different types of sized ships. Right now we are about to head to some natural springs. I believe the name is Bugwak Springs or Bugwak Springs. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but they look incredible on Google and we cannot wait to check them out. As you guys can tell, the sky is blue, so hopefully it doesn't rain. We're always trying to get all our activities in before the rain, and so far it's been good. Except the last vlog, we did get caught in the rain, but today hopefully we have a little bit better luck, so let's go. We have been having quite the ordeal trying to find Gooplock Springs. We can't find it. We've been asking the locals. There's this power plant over here that's nearby and they're all pointing towards it and telling us to go to the power plant and this way and that way. And now there's a man fishing right across the river from us and we yelled and we asked, where's Bugwak Falls? And he said we have to cross, but uh, I'm not sure. We're just gonna use this barge and cross over and see what happens. That this is how you get the Bukwak Springs, but apparently it is, and it's a lot of work. 
let's see how it looks or if it's even worth it. Looking at Bugwak Springs on Google seemed like it would be extremely beautiful blue water springs and the images did not look anything like this let me tell you guys but we crossed the river with the little barge and right here is Bugwak Springs so we're not sure exactly what happened maybe it was the typhoon that destroyed it or something or we're not here at the right time or we're not in the right place but according to the locals we definitely are in the right place They've told us that it's here. We asked multiple times about like three or four people and they all pointed here and this is where it's at. So needless to say, we're not gonna change into our swimming pants or swim trunks and start swimming or anything like that. We're just gonna go ahead and move on to our next destination. But uh, quite hard getting here and quite disappointing the fact that uh, it looks like this. I just like to clarify the river and the jungle surrounding it are absolutely gorgeous but we were expecting like a huge like pond like clear water based on the picture is what we expected but this is what it is and it's kind of just underwhelming and yes the river is beautiful but obviously you cannot swim in it it's uh you know moving quite quickly and i don't think it's safe so we'll check something else out right now This has to be one of the most difficult and interesting falls slash springs we've ever tried to get to. And uh, the, probably the most disappointing one so far. Not only was it really difficult getting down here because the road seemed to be extremely rocky and like very, like a lot of potholes, a lot of sitting water. So it was really hard getting here with the motorbike. But we went, came back down. We went back up to ask for directions again came back again and <laughs> it didn't work out this time but we're okay we're still had a we still had a pretty fun adventure here and yeah I mean what can I say it's okay <laughs> little disappointment does not ruin our day we are now gonna make our way over to mirror world this is the path right here that we took down to the floating raft these little stairs and that's where the raft was And just like that, we have made it to the mirror of the world. And it wasn't actually just like that because we got soaked. It rained on the way here and it took about 45 minutes or maybe even a little bit longer to come here. And my pants are soaked, my shirt is soaked, and Zay is also soaked from head to toe. But it is what it is. We're here now and it's not raining in this area. So we're super happy about that. And we're gonna go inside and check it out. You can see all the plane seats right here and we're about to board this plane and see everything all around the world. The tickets to come in here cost us 150 pesos each and I also read to, on the sign next to it that it was the daytime price. If you come here after 6 p.m. I think it's a little bit busier and more lit up so you're gonna pay 20 pesos extra. We saw that this place was like a popular tourist attraction here in the area and we decided to come and check it out because it looked really cool and so far it is definitely not disappointing. It looks very awesome. So let's go and check it out together. This place has a lot of landmarks from all around the world. As you can see, we got the Eiffel Tower over here and right next to it over here to the right, we have the leading tower of Pisa. We got the San Francisco bridge over there. We got a Hollywood sign, but it says Boholywood which is really funny. And then on top right there, we got Christ the Redeemer from uh, Brazil. And right there, we got the Statue of Liberty. So this place is really, really cool. Really good place to come to and take your photos. Some of the attractions that we're seeing around this park right here, we've actually seen in person before, like the Merlion right here from Singapore. We've seen that just a couple of months ago. And this pond actually has a lot of massive koi fish down there. And it looks really, really cool. Next to all of the landmarks, there's actually plaques so you can read what the landmark is about. If you haven't seen it or you don't know where it's at or what it's about, there's little plaques like this so you can learn about it.
This place is spectacular. We are so happy we came here. And it's not only a place where you can see all of the different landmarks, but it's also a botanical garden. So you can see there's a lot of different plants, a lot of flowers, which we always love to see. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know that we do visit a lot of botanical gardens around the world and we love plants and nature. So this is really nice. Not only is this place spectacular by itself with the botanical garden and all the different landmarks, but check out the surrounding landscapes, the mountains, the palm trees. I mean, it does not get any better than this. The more you look around, the better it gets. I would like to mention how nice and clean this place is. They keep it up so well. Before we actually came in here, it started pouring rain. And as soon as the rain stopped within 15 minutes, they started literally sweeping the rainwater away to clean it, clean it up and clear it up. There's also a cafe over here that is Greek Roman theme. And we're gonna head inside right there. And I'm gonna have a little coffee because I have to be alert in order to keep us safe on the road on the way home. So we're gonna head in here and have a coffee. And just like that, I got this very, very nice cup of black coffee, just the way I like it. No milk, no sugar, just black. And if you guys know, I love coffee and so does they. And if you guys have been loving our videos, we have a link down in the description below. If you want to support us, you can buy us a coffee through that link. But if not, no problem. Just give us a like. We're just as happy with that. And just like that, we have explored the whole world. So we are going to be shutting Attila and Zay down. We're done with traveling. We're done with the trip. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> That's it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed watching everything we had to show you. Even the springs that weren't so fun. We hope you guys still loved watching us struggle to get there. But that is it for today's video. Please leave a comment if you guys had a favorite part. Please leave a like. It really helps us out. And subscribe. We will see you guys in the next one.